we're making two versions of keto french fries. Which one's for you? Let's go! Michael Root and his wife used my viral tortilla recipe to make french fries and that got me really curious. Tasting it, it tastes like a cheesy french fry. Of course I let Judy from Judy's Test Kitchen in on the conversation and she said oh gosh we need dairy free for that so this is the almond flour version. Nutritional information for both recipes is listed in the description box and if you want the recipe to the cheesy one I'll have time stamps linked in the description box and this one starts now. Add one and a half cups of almond flour to a bowl, then one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of gelatin powder, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, two egg whites, one tablespoon of olive oil and one teaspoon of salt. Mix that all together and I first used a spatula and then mixed with my hands to form a ball of dough. Cut the dough in half so it's easy to work with. Then working with one half at a time, roll out the dough to about a quarter of an inch thickness. So quite thin. Do tidy the edges as you're rolling so the edges aren't so jagged but don't tidy them to the point where you have straight lines because fries aren't meant to be perfect. Once you're happy with your sheet of dough, cut it in half horizontally and then cut into the dough vertically to create the fries shape. These fries do dry out when baking so you want to spray or coat them with olive oil at this point or when you turn them over. This is how they turn out without the oil and this is how they turn out with. So spraying oil is my best advice. If you're using an air fryer set the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 Celsius and bake for 20 minutes and then turn them over and bake for another 10 minutes. If you're using an oven, they do take much longer to bake in an oven. So set your temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius and they take about an hour. And I found that I didn't need to turn them over. Now for my favorite way to make these fries, just because they puff up beautifully. However, this one is not dairy free. We are using finely grated cheese and someone said I use four kgs of cheese in all my recipes. <laughs> You got it wrong sir, we only need 180 grams. So do add 180 grams of finely grated cheese to a bowl, then one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of gelatin powder, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, and two egg whites. Don't add any oil or salt, you won't need it at all because the cheese is both oily and possibly salty. We then follow the same process of mixing that all together. Cut the ball of dough in half, rolling out each ball between two sheets of paper and tidying up the edges. Cut the sheet of dough horizontally, then make vertical cuts to create the fry shape. Pop them into the air fryer and bake at 175 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Turn them over and bake for another 10 minutes. Okay, so this is the one made with finely grated cheese and you can see it's considerably thicker because it puffs up so nicely. And then this one is the oven and this one's the air fryer. And there's not much difference between them at all. I hope you get to try it and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.